Okay, fifth graders, welcome to Monday. We're on lesson 9.5. We're going to continue looking at graphing and data and charts. Uh, make sure you do your warm up for today. Um, it is Monday. Okay, so today we're actually looking at data. We're looking at tables. And we learned last week that I can take a table and I can graph the table. But today I'm looking for a pattern inside of my table. So what I have here is I have an example of, I'm going to use my son. He's been doing a lot of yard work the last couple of weeks, especially for his grandma. So this is kind of what's been happening, okay? So this is my son's yard work. Um, if he works one day for six hours, he makes $60. If he works two days for 12 hours, he makes 120 hours. There's a pattern there about how much money he's making. We just need to figure out what that pattern is. Okay, so I'm going to say the number of hours he works determines how much he gets paid. Okay, I know that I, I know that he's working six hours a day because first day he works six, second day he works twelve. But I want to know how much he's getting paid. So if I take six hours, that's going to make sixty dollars. So six hours times something makes sixty bucks. I know a lot of you are already saying, well, geez, Mr. Bauer, that's pretty easy. Six times 10 would be $60. So he must be making $10 an hour. Okay, let's, let's look and see if that's true. On day four, by day four, he's worked 24 hours. If I take $10 an hour, multiply it by 24, yes, it's correct. That does give me 240. So it's safe to say that the pattern here is that Mackay makes ten dollars per hour okay. and that's all you're doing today is you're solving the pattern that is in the table and you're writing that on your assignment you have four questions to solve two story problems if you run into questions need help reach out to me you can always reach me over email and have a wonderful day. Goodbye, guys.